All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bit. Part two, we won't go into slavery anymore. You will, Esau. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans will never go into captivity upon a none of you heathen nations ever again, man. But y'all will. But y'all will, okay? According to the Bible. Look, part two. Look, we're going to hop right into it. Another ongoing series through the spirit of your heart. Shimmy, I was shot. We'll and look, that's a wonderful thing. Our people should be rejoicing. Our people should be shouting for joy. Our, sh our people should be dancing in the streets, so to speak, spiritually. Knowing that they're never going to captivity up under these heathen nations anymore, man. They will never be able to treat us like they've been treating us for, for these hundreds of years, man. Okay? So let's hop right into it. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Okay? You nations that devoured us, you nations that are still devouring us, you will be devoured, man, according to the Bible, man, okay? Therefore, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. And this, these scriptures is music to my ears, man, early in the morning. Music to my ears, right? Therefore, all they, not some, not half, not the majority, but all of them, man. All of them are going to pay. All they devour thee, right, shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Not, not, they don't get no vacation. They don't get to be laying on the beach, sitting in the sun, drinking my ties. They're going to go into captivity, a.k.a. slavery. You heathens took us through pure hell, man. Every day of our lives, we got to wake up and worry about being a suspect. You know. We getting treated like shit each and every day. And you heathens know y'all doing it, man. That's the thing about it, man. Y'all look at us in disgust like we don't even belong on the earth. Well, the shoe is going to be on the other foot soon, come, man. Every one of you heathen nations is going to drink that cup, man. You're going to drink the dreads of that cup, man. You know? No more smiles, yo. Only frowns, tears, back aches. Everything that we went through, right? It says, every one of them shall go into captivity. And they that spoiled thee, y'all took everything we had, man. I mean, everything took our land. You know, said we weren't from that land. You know, you claimed our land. Said you was the people of that land. Lied the whole time. Beat our nationality out of us. You called us monkeys. You said we came from apes. You know, you know, you said the color of our skin was a curse when the color of our skin was royalty. You know, you took everything we had, man. And they that spoiled thee shall be a spoil. And we're going to take it right back from you. I mean, everything. We're going to leave you heathen nations with nothing, man. Nothing. Look, man, y'all devoured us, man. Y'all took the skin off our bones, man. And made pocketbooks and shoes out of it and bags and things of that nature. Coffee table covers. You heathens, y'all get do y'all do y'all not know how much hell y'all get ready to get put on y'all, man? Do y'all not know? And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I get for a prey. You got you got somebody right now being followed by the police. They ain't did shit. They trying to go to work early in the morning, being tailed. By some crackers, you know what I'm saying? Some rednecks, some honkies. And these other nations, you know, get our people being followed around in stores. Get these heathen people around the corner. Only thing you're doing is going to the store to buy some. Hurry up and buy. Hurry up and buy. Your mother should have never had you. Y'all, y'all know the story. Y'all know the storyline. So all these crushes are going to fall upon these heathens, man. You're going to be followed around, you know? You know, you, you're going to be chased through the woods. Everything that you have is going to be taken. Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 7. And the Lord, Yahweh, by Shai, by power, will put all these curses upon.
upon thine enemies. You can read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, 15 on down. All these curses are going to fall upon you heathens. Look, the curses are going to get taken off of us, man. That's why the name of this lesson is called, We Won't Go Into Slavery Anymore. You will, Esau, and the rest of you heathens, man. Once again, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. And the Lord thy power, Yahweh Bashanel Shai, will put all these curses upon thine enemies. And you heathens ain't going to be able to handle it, man. But the Lord put his spirit on us. The Lord got his spirit on us to be able to go through it. But you heathens, y'all going to have to go through it, though. You, you weak bodies, frail bodies. Y'all going to have to go through it, though, right? He going to put all these curses upon thine enemies. Because once again, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are the true Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible. You have enemies. You can't, you can't tell that you have enemies. These heathens are kicking your ass left and right, and you still think they're your friends? What is what is wrong with you, Israelites, man? Something's really wrong with you. You think these these different heathens, nations, are your friends, man? They're your enemies, man. Your enemies brought you over here on cargo slave ships, right? So all these curses are going to get put on them, right? And on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. You know what I'm saying? And they're still persecuting us to this day. Can't get your full check. These heathens taxing your check, you know? And then they sit back, you know what I'm saying? And they wait for you to say something. These heathens look at you like you don't supposed to say nothing about nothing. These heathens kick your ass up and down the street, and then they look at you like you don't supposed to say nothing. Are you heathens crazy? Especially the so-called white man. He got his, he got a, he got a knife in your back, you know what I'm saying? And he wondering why you're hollering. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, which represents you Israelites, and he will choose so like you, and he will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. We're going back home soon come because America is not our land, and Africa is not our land. Israel is our land. The Lord said he's going to set us in our own land. We ain't got to get on no boat. We ain't got to get on no plane. You know, none of that. The Lord said he's going to set us in our own land. But this ain't our rest, man. This the foul country, man. Why people want to be just like these heathens? They walk around with gold hair, these short ass haircuts, these women rocking these short ass haircuts, men wearing dreads, looking like animals. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said He's going to set us in our own land, man. Let's start off with the elect, too, right? Right? And the strangers shall be joined with them, Israelite foreigners, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them, shall possess them, possess, when you possess something, that means you own some, shall possess them in the land of the Lord. Israel, Jerusalem, for servants and handmaids, right? Slave men, slave women, right? Look, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. You so-called white people, y'all held us captives, man, for all these years, man. So now the Lord is getting ready to change it. Turn the table, man. Now you now you get ready to be the captives, man. Right? And they shall look, and they shall rule over their oppressors, right? I'm gonna read that again. And they shall take them captives. I don't know if anybody heard it. And they shall take them captives. Oh, I don't think the God of the Bible, two wrongs don't make a right. Two wrongs make it even though. You got this woman coming on the internet to some um the God of the Bible and a power like that. He's not a God, you know what I'm saying, that would put anybody into captivity. Damn it, we went into captivity. And he just said right here, and they shall take them captives, who captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors, man. Okay? Right? And it shall come to pass, in that, in that day, the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. So that's what's coming, rest. Rest for the Hebrew Israelites from their sorrow, from all their hell that we've been catching from these heathens. Look, rest is coming, right? That's why you got to come back to the Lord, right? And the Lord thy power shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear. We don't have to fear you nations anymore, man, mainly you so-called white people, man. It won't be no confederate flags in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? It won't, it won't be no confederate statues in the kingdom, you know? Won't nobody be eating pork. Shrimp, clams, none of that nonsense in the kingdom, you know? Won't nobody be committing an um, abortion, you know what I'm saying, or adultery in the kingdom. All that is here when the so-called white man go down, right? He's going to give us rest, man. 
from our sorrows and from thy fear. We gotta never worry about being a suspect in again. Again. Do you Israelites hear what the Bible is saying? We ain't gonna never be a suspect ever again, man. Or by word. Or proverb. This devil ain't gonna be able to tax us anymore. This devil ain't gonna be able to poison the water anymore, the air anymore, the food anymore. Right? And from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. You got brothers waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning, going to work, 2 o'clock in the morning, graveyard shifts, you name it, man. Working 9 to 5, don't get no rest, hardcore bondage, getting paid $8, $9 an hour, $6 an hour. You devils got to pay, man. Grown men with kids, with families, with a wife, getting paid 5 $6 an hour, and this devil tell you to be happy with it, man. You devils got a lot to pay for, man. You devils got a lot to pay for, man. And the scriptures say double, man. We're going to get that. Y'all, look, you heathens going to pay double for what y'all did to us, man. Double, man. According to thy works. Double, man. You know, and look, look. And that's a beautiful thing, man, that the Lord left all these words written in this Bible, man. You know, it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But it's true. You, you heathens put holy hell on us, man. This is Revelation chapter 18. And I'm about to wrap it up. We will not go into captivity anymore, but you will, Esau. Revelation chapter 18, verse 6. Reward her, even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, according to her works. In the cup which she have filled, fill to her double. You heathens going to pay double, man, for what y'all did to us. Double, 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 man. Double trouble. You heathens got a lot to pay for, man. Let's get this, Baruch. You heathens got a lot to pay for, man. The scripture said double, man. You know, everything. You, look, man, you heathens don't even know what double really mean. Look, but you're going to find it out, though. This is Baruch chapter 4. Verse 25. My children. Talking about the Israelites. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and confusion of faces. Look, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from Yahweh. The Heavenly Father put us, put us in this predicament, man, for going off, right? But this ain't the end of the story. For thine enemy, you have enemies. Israelites, you got enemies, damn it, you got enemies. Stop trying to run from it. You got enemies. Own up to it, right? For thine enemies have persecuted thee, right? Going right back to what I read in Jeremiah, right? But shortly, not look, it ain't even gonna take long. But look, but shortly, you know, the triumph of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction. The elect of the nation of Israel is gonna see the destruction and downfall of this wicked sinful kingdom, man. The just downfall and destruction of the so-called white man and these heathens, man. Lord willing we be some of those men to see it, right? Right? But shortly thou shalt see his destruction. But I thought the God of the Bible loved everybody. Well, why is the scripture saying we're going to see that our enemy's destruction soon come? Hello, I thought the God of the Bible loved everybody, man. Well, why is he saying you're going to see your enemy's destruction soon come, right? And thou shalt tread upon his neck, man. And look, that's going to be a wonderful thing. To be able to tread upon the neck of our enemies. Look, that's going to be one of the blessed things to see, man. Okay? That's what's going to make us rejoice, okay? To be able to tread on the neck of our enemies, it's going to be a wonderful thing, man. We're going to have you in pits and everything, man. We're going to let, we're going to let lions and different animals devour you. Well, let's read this. Job chapter 20, verse 4. Knowing thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphant of the wicked, who is the wicked? You so-called white people, you ruling the earth in wickedness, right? It's short. And the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. So once again, we won't go into captivity anymore. You will, Esau. We won't go into slavery anymore. You will, Esau, you so-called white people. You know what I'm saying? Which are the biblical red Hebrew Edomites and you other nations, man. We won't go into slavery anymore. But y'all will. Shalom.